Hi, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you on how to replace the cracked screen on a MacBook Air. This is a 2015 model. Uh, it's the same process for 2013, 14, and 15. So let me kind of write it down uh, the tools that you need. Um, what you need is going to be a pantaloupe. Screwdriver. I will have the uh, the link description below where you can click on the link and make the purchase on what you need to get the repair done. Um, also, you do need to have a Torque T5 and a Torque T8 screwdriver. Uh, this is a MacBook Air 2015. Um, you can do the same. You can look at this tutorial and do the same for 2013 2014 model. Okay, I believe the model is a1466 So let's get started So the first thing you need is to remove the screw the coming from the back plate You need a pantaloupe screwdriver Which is like a a five star like a flower tip so there are two long screws coming from the top and the rest of it are the short ones Once you have all the screw removed, go ahead and open up the back plate. So at this point, you need to disconnect the LCD cable. Flip open the hinges and pull the cable out. The next part is to open up connector here and put this on the side we want to disconnect this cable okay by pulling it slowly towards you Okay, once you have that done, go ahead and disconnect the Wi-Fi cable. The new screen is going to come with the Wi-Fi cable pre-installed. Okay. Pretty much it, you already disconnect all the cables. The next step is to go ahead and remove the six screw, the, the, the hinges that holds onto the monitor screen. Uh, first thing what you want to do is you want to lift it up into about 90 degree angle. Turn it around. Use a torque 8 screwdriver. Come back and do the second one here. Okay. 
Okay, once you're done with that, the screen would come apart. Okay, at this point, the, the USB on the right side is kind of um, clamping down the cable. You need a four, five screwdriver and go ahead and unplug this, uh, unscrew this. Okay, once you get underneath, you can remove the cable as well as the Wi-Fi cable and the screen just come right off. Okay, here's the new screen. I'll have the new screen um, in the description below. You can click on the link to go ahead and get the screen. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the hinges. Uh, at the 90 degree angle and you can easily slide okay once you have it in you want to go ahead and put one screw in to close the screen so that you can easily work on it later Okay, once you have the screw installed, go ahead and close up the screen. You want to have the cable go back underneath the controller, the USB controller. And just push it all the way in, okay? make it look nice by hiding the, uh, the cable underneath And we want to go back with the screw and lock down the fan. Don't forget the cable. This is the speaker. 
goes back onto the USB controller. Alright, at this part here, you're done with this section. And we're going to work on the Wi Fi. You want to have the metal plate, the Wi Fi metal plate, this here, to go on the hinge before you put the screw on top. Once you have that thing done, you can go ahead and hide the Wi-Fi cable. Just kind of go around, hide it underneath the motherboard. And comes back to the top here. So the shorter one goes to the top, the longer cable here goes to the bottom of your Wi-Fi. Put in the 40 pin connector, the LCD, slide it in and lock it. I'm going to test the screen first, make sure it works and I'll come back and finish up the cable and put the back plate on. So let's try to turn it on and make sure it works. Sorry about that. I think the battery is dead, so I gotta get a charger. There you go, the screen is on. It's beautiful. Alright, thanks for watching, and don't forget to put this cable back on. There's the USB controller that goes onto the motherboard. Uh, don't forget the cable and put the back plate on and screw everything in back together. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you like my video and I'll have more video for the next time. Have a good day.